Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Sean Stents in the lovely hot tub with Drake the Duck and Mike on the flip cam. So how to Hardcore 7 just ended. Awesome night review. The stream was great. Streaming from, from our video on my computer to the Chromecast. Awesome quality. It lagged a couple times, but overall the quality is great, sounds great. One thing I gotta say, Matt Striker was awesome on commentary. He was just name dropping everybody. He mentioned Chris Benoit. He did, did this good stuff. But he kept mentioning Lucha Underground. It's like, if you did a shot for every time you mentioned Underground, you would be drunk. So let's get go right to the matches. We opened up with Steve Richards versus Danny Doring. A battle of ECW Originals. Oh, there. A battle of ECW Originals. This Steve Richards was good for a date. An all right back and forth match with Stevie Richards getting the win. Not much here, an okay opener. And then we go with the Kurt Hawkins, former Johnson's guest, versus Tina Gut former Tina Gutcheck winner, Christian North. A really good back and forth match. I enjoyed it. Both looked very good. Christian York got the win. Good solid match. One of my favorite matches of the night. Really enjoyed it. Two underrated talents in the indie business. Just two good guys going after it. Just good stuff right there. Kurt Hawkins lost, throwing a fit. And now comes Rick Rodriguez. And we had our first surprise tonight. Alberto Del Rio. I can't do it all Mexican because I'm white. But I did it with Rio. Puts him in the arm bar. We had fucking man chance. It was nice to see Alberto Rio. They probably was surprised, and that was awesome. I think it's, the match was good with Del Rio coming out, and the, and the ovation he got was more awesome. I love the feel. That was just great. And it was really uh, interesting. He gets a positive reaction. Was, everybody sh 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 talked him in WWE. Oh, he can't do this. But everybody's kissing his ass when he's out in the Indies. So we'll see if that's his reaction all over the U.S. or just in Philly in the arena. Then we got a three-way, we got three-way next, right? We got the six-man tag right after that one. All right, we got that. Producer, six-man tag after that. Hold on. We don't edit here. This is live. The Ant Wrestling Cats don't tweet in order. They didn't do resolve the six-man tag. I don't know because I was tweeting during the whole show. It was Nunzio and some other people. Yeah, I know, yeah. Oh, it was Team Tremendous. I was right. I was just like getting myself. I want to be right all the time, people. I got to fact check myself on the fly. And I call out wrestling against that wrestling radio. You didn't say the result for this match. Team Tremendous versus, uh, Team Tremendous and Nunzio versus Van Ortiz, Ash, uh, I don't really forget their names. Two big dudes and one rookie dude. I'm sorry, guys. Three unknown guys. Sorry. I'm prepared right there. But it was an alright match, but the, the ending was pretty much yes. A lot of dies, fun moves. The three tremendous just took over and looked very awesome. The referee did crazy aerial moves, which was very fun. Fun ending. Team tremendous and Nunzio get the win. Great stuff right there. Then we have Eddie Kingston versus Eddie Edwards. Our first match change, match uh, car change tonight. Dave Richard couldn't make it, and then uh, Jigsaw wasn't there. So, it was an alright back for match, but you can tell Eddie, Eddie Edwards is carrying Eddie Kingston. But overall, a solid match. Nothing spectacular. Eddie Edwards gets the win. And also, it went a little too long, I thought. But overall, a solid match. Then we had uh, Tony Nese versus Alex Randall versus Lance Annoy. The Indy Uso, I call him. An awesome three-way back and forth. Nice was the MVP of this match. How is he not on a major stage? I do not know how. How is he not did me? How is he not at Lucha Underground? How is he not at PWG? Awesome stuff. Great uh, fast-paced action. The hits kept coming. It was a highlight reel match. I loved it. The crowd was shitty for it, but I loved the match. It was very good. Good stuff. Uh, Tony Nice got the win. That was the end of the first half. We opened up the second half with my one of my one of my uh, matches I was looking forward to the most. Drew Gulley Valley versus Austin Aries. And this 
I, I steal from my bunch, good old JR. This was a slobber knocker. They pulled no punches. They hit each other hard. Great hard hitting match. Good as hell wrestling match. And one of the best matches I've seen Galloway wrestle. He wrestled there. He's great. There's great storytelling. The crowd was shit for this match. So it's hard to focus on the, on the match when the crowd's being terrible. Down 3 MB. But overall, great match. This worked so well together. Exceed of expectations. I fell in love with this match. Galloway and Aries is a match to watch on the IPV play. Then we had Tommy Dreamer came out with Beulah. And who's going to be his opponent? And the shocker of the night, the one that shocked the IWC, it is TNA World Champion Bobby Roode. My like Jerry Borash says. Where Bobby Roode cut a good promo and put the TNA title online. And we had an okay street fight, which ended with too many damn run ins. We had Spike, Walter White, Dudley come in. And Rosita, aka Tita Trinidad, aka Rosebud, do a fucking moonsault. And out of all this chaos, Rue gets the win. But what I think what meant most is Tommy Jr. cut a good promo. It was Bueller's last night in the arena, last night coming to the ring. He brought his daughters out. It was a great moment. I thought it brought tears to my eye. I'm a, I'm a emotional man. This how much his daughter, like his daughters met him, his wife met him. Creamer is one hell of a guy. And it's good stuff right there. I see, it's crazy to see a teenager world title match on an IQ review. It was crazy to see Bobby Roode on... Uh, it's good to see Bobby Roode on pay-per-view since he wasn't... <laughs> he's actually on pay-per-view. But overall, an alright match. Let's see what we got here next. Then we have the main event. Am I missing anything, director? The Dudleys? No, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the Dudleys tour week squad. They made us... Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. I, I uh, this, we're not gonna edit this. We're not gonna film it again. We're going going strong. So I'll, I I missed the match before intermission. We had Team Three Demons kill Reed Scott in an all right back and forth match. Team Three made a surprise appearance at their Kill Reed Squad issued an open challenge. It was all right. It was a nice little hardcore match. Team Three Demons lands way through a table. Team 3 gets the win. Good stuff right there. Sorry, it's been... Just, the people are so awesome, I lost track of the matches. So, that was a good match. Team 3 got the win. Then we had our main event. And we're not forgetting any more. Can we go to the main event? Okay. Good to have Mike and my Twitter keep me updated. So we had the Hardys and Bucks. Great match. Good back and forth. I don't think it was as good as their first match. But overall, great match. Great high flying. They were very well together. I love the ref, uh, the near falls of the ref. One, two, they pull the ref out. Those spots are cool. The super picks were great. Those hardy bucks, you know what you get. Every time you book them, I can't wait for the inevitable ladder match in the Hardys and Bucks. But Bucks will show again. And that was good stuff. Bubba Ray kind of good. Uh, then Team 3 came out. Oh, sorry. We had a good handshake thing. But, uh, sorry. What's this far? So after the match, the Hardys wanted to handshake from the Bucks. The Hardys tried to double cross the Bucks. The Bucks super kicked them. And out of nowhere, Team 3D comes in and 3D's both up the Hardys. That was an awesome moment. She and the Hardys go up from the 3D. That was a great moment. Then Bubba Ray, Dudley, just thanks to the fans. And it hints at House of Hardcore TV in the future. We'll see if that happens. But overall, I love this show. I thought it was great. It entertained me. Great wrestling, good, 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 just good entertainment. The surprises delivered. Del Rio, 3D, Bobby Roode, that was awesome. I love the unadvertised uh, uh, surprises. It was good. It was worth the fourteen dollars. I think I got more than more than my money's worth right there. And watching with my friends was great. When you watch an interview, you watch with friends. It's more better with friends, I say. So long, long review short. My match of the night. Is Hardy's Bucks second 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 place is uh, Aries and Galloway and third is the three way. Those are three excellent matches you need to check out on the replay, which you can order now on rfvideonow.com. Fourteen ninety nine for the replay. You get a fourteen day rental like Blockbuster. Don't know why. Or you can just wait for the DVD to come out. 
Follow me at the Sean Sands. Follow House of Cardboard at House of Cardboard. And uh, follow me on Instagram at Sean Sands. Buy a t-shirt. Uh, Virtuteaser.com slash Sean Dance. Let's have a great day. Subscribe to the channel. Share us everywhere. And peace.